Welcome back to Final Fantasy V. So we are in Carwin, apparently. I had no idea what this place was called. That thief dash is going to get me killed one of these days. So let's stay at the inn real quick. Ten gil. That's... that's really actually amazing. Well, nothing fancy going on here. So the inn apparently has nothing to do with the plot. That thief dash is gonna mess with me forever. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Boring inn. Well, let's buy... We haven't stocked up on items yet. At all. Like, since the start of the game. Just run off of what they gave us. So, we're gonna need... Potions are not great. And by the time you get to be a chemist, that they're just completely useless. So let's pick up... I like to have six of everything. I don't know why. It's just one of those things. Just one more than five. It's just... it's weird. Something messed up in my head. Phoenix stands are too expensive. Tent. Let's buy two more tents. Uh, we'll buy two gold needles, since they're expensive. Uh, random person. I want to talk to you. Purple flowers that bloom on North Mountain are poisonous. The least creative name for a mountain ever. The Wind Tycoon is the only wind drake left. Okay, bronze equipment, bronze equipment. Only knights can wear a bunch of this stuff. So let's buy our mages each a robe, and our melees each a cuirass. Is that the proper pronunciation of that? Cuirass? Cuirass? Dagger, longsword, rod, staff. Do I have one? I'm gonna buy... Because I have broadswords, yeah. I'm gonna buy one longsword in case I need to switch over to... Blue Mage. I'm pretty sure I have all the magic available. Oh, protect. That's new. And sleep. That's new. Oh, well, there's a bar. Bars are always good sources of information. Hey, a piano. We'll see if I'm any better. Well, I almost got the scale down. Poison grass is choking out all the dragon grass. That's not an innuendo at all, is it? Use the R button to look at the world map. Okay, yeah, thanks. That's great. A Windrake, what? Too bad it didn't land on my mother-in-law. Yeah, that's... I can see the secret passages now that I'm a thief. In case you couldn't tell from the secret passages. Alright, the inn's boring. Or the bar's boring, I mean. Nothing here. No ship sailing because there's no wind. That makes sense. So much for the glorious age of sea travel. Finest port in the world, but boats can't sail. I can't get back there. Because this guy's blocking the way. Oh, I didn't even see you. Kingdom of Walls is south. They use a machine to amplify the water crystal like they did with the air crystal. Walls is across the ocean. Quick trip by ship, but hey, yeah. We haven't got... Yeah, yeah bring that up. God, you're an idiot.
Can't go by water. Can't go by land. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that was a trigger for... Oh, hey. I didn't even check these. Alright, so I hit a trigger for something. Oh, hey, there we go. I saw a Windrake flying to the north. Having themselves sulk upstairs in the pub. Okay. We just gotta do things in the right order. Nothing too wrong with that. Uh, it looked like a dragon. But it was armored, so yeah. Apparently it got injured, and it's going there because it knows that's where it can get healed. Which is convenient, because it's right near us. Playing the seer out, we should take to the air. Okay, North Mountain. Most boringly named mountain ever. Oops, you're not the exit. Alright, North Mountain is to the north of here, as you can see. Now, I can't really point and tell you where we're going, but you see up to the north... Actually, it's pretty much due north from here, but it's at the north uh, eastern part of the map. That little flashy cross there in the middle of that mountain range. Yeah, that's where we're going. And we're walking. Ignore. Ignore. So, what can we talk about while we're making this trip? Hmm. Which of these characters isn't still spoiler-tastic? That'd probably be Lena. So let's talk about Lena. I'm gonna save the game here. Uh, what do we know about Lena from the game so far? She's a princess, yes. Nope, oh, we're going the other way. Okay, so she's a princess. She's... But that's about all we know about her. From the game. Now, if you do a bit of digging, look into a bit of backstory. Learn a bit about this game outside of what it presents to you up front. I mean, if you go searching for things, this is the, it gives you a very detailed, very interesting world. Lena, for example. Lena tells us her age. Her age is 19-ish. Which, I know, surprising, right? It's a Final Fantasy game. They're all supposed to be like 12. But no, she's 19. She's pretty short, pretty light, very princessy. And... Let's see... Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to remember things, and I can't remember things. Oh yeah, she, uh... Okay, she had a mother and father when she was born, obviously, but uh, her mother uh, took ill. At some point, and uh, the only thing that could cure her mother was a, uh, it was either the drag, it, it was here you liver or tongue or something to that effect. Something that would, something that would kill it. But they didn't want to do that because here he was the last wind dragon that they knew about. So the parents decided that, you know, she, she her mother decided she would just die rather than take here you's life. Which is kind of noble, yeah. But, you know, when you command a country, it, kind of maybe irresponsible to just kill yourself over a pet. Okay, so if I step on this, I get poisoned. So what Lena does when she finds this out is just runs out, grabs a knife, and she pretty much just 
basically straight up tries to murder the giant dragon. Ooh, this is kind of mazy. Eventually her mother and father talk her out of it, and she, she gains a, a big respect for animals because of this. A big respect for living things, for nature, for not for for, for sacrifice, self sacrifice especially. She she is big on self sacrifice. Oh hey. One is struck by a poison arrow. This is a boss fight. I haven't had one of those in the old what, twenty minutes? You know, I should step up here. I should, I should, I should put an honest effort into what I'm doing here. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna see if I can't set up a little life counter for the bosses. And see if it's not too annoying. Well, Ferris is dead. How convenient that I can't do that. Thank you for just letting me do that. You're the best villain ever. Yep, four on one. He's totally got a chance. Has nothing to steal. Oh, is she sleepable? Nope. Not good sleepable. Oh yeah, so I, I've swapped out focus for chakra, which heals and cure. Oh Jesus Christ! What the hell just happened? I don't have a race spell yet. Let's see here. Phoenix down. Oh, I didn't want to use the phoenix down on him. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. I did not sort my inventory. Oh, we'll just have to use a potion and pray. No. Good. Oh, excuse me for a minute. Sorry about that interruptions. Where were we? Oh, uh, we were setting her on fire. Not white. White. Forza! She called, uh... She called another boss. That's what she did there. An interesting note. This is the first boss and probably the first enemy in the, you know, enemy period that we encounter in this game. That has a positive defense stat. Yeah, you heard me right. That's why monks are such a big deal. He literally is the first enemy in the game with a defense stat over zero. This is, this is honestly just straightforward. Why do they keep using that door? I have no idea why they keep using that door. It's starting to annoy me. That cure is not going to hold me for very long. This guy better die quick. Oh. I win. And a whip. I suppose Leonard dying takes care of that poison for me, doesn't it? Let's uh, top some people off with potions. And move on our way. So yeah, Lena. Okay, where were we? <laughs> we get distracted about twice there. So Lena tries to kill the dragon. It's stopped by the mother. The mother, she, she gains like a big sense of self-sacrifice and reverence for life from the whole event. See, she, she's killing herself. Just get that grass, so the dragon can live. When you think about it, you know, 10, 15 years ago, she was going to do the exact opposite.
You're at your gourd, young lady. That's okay, my magical dragon tears will save the day. Bart's is scared of heights. Now the response, of course, to this crippling phobia that should be taken seriously is to laugh their asses off. And shove them on the dragon. Alright, I control the dragon. Can't land in forests, can't cross mountains. Makes it a very limited uh, form of transportation. But it's good enough for now. Let's park right here. So we can save up and heal. And I will see you next time.